So today's term is slumber rooms, and Kyle had asked about these, and these are not common in my area. So I kind of searched out and found funeral homes that they're actually used at now to see what they use them at now, and then I researched back into the history to see what did we use them for before. So a slumber room is, is another term for originally when the visitations and viewings were in a home, the person would be laid out on a bed or a couch of some sort within the home for people to come visit. Caskets started coming along and those started also being used at the time funerals and viewings were held in a funeral home. So it became an easier way to move the person around. Whereas when they were still in the home, laying them out on the bed and then taking them for burial out in the backyard, there was no receptacle that was ever used. They were put right into the earth. So fast forward, slumber rooms are now used in funeral homes, sometimes before cremation, so they're, they're not shown in maybe the cardboard box that they go to the crematory in, and they're laid on these beds in these living room or bedroom type setups where there's a couch or a bed. And so the family feels more of a home feel, kind of I feel like at a hospice home rather than at a hospital. It's trans doing that transition of letting go of the body or that death at a hospice home to you know in a more comfortable setting and so you're not as it's not as clinical and it's a little warmer and a little more well received so that's why these slumber rooms have now started coming up um, and I think we may see more of them as direct cremation and cremation is on the rise we're gonna see more of this home feel to that final goodbye so the term is slumber room